Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Daniel Sparkman. And I'm Tamika Alexander. First tonight on the News at 10, the city of Tuscaloosa is closing the doors on its volunteer reception center. After two years, the city's tornado recovery organizing will now be in the control of local nonprofits. WVUA's Travis Leader joins us now live at downtown Tuscaloosa. And Travis, why is the city letting others take control now? Daniel Tamika, the city feels now is the best time to focus on its recovery efforts through other programs. But current and former administrators of the VRC tell me that these last two years have been full of accomplishments that they are very proud of. Seeing thousands of people streaming in and the people who were the volunteers who came there on a day to day basis to run that actual center were just an absolute testament to our community and the, the recovery efforts that we were already making. One of the initial volunteers was current coordinator John Lambert, who had a desire to keep helping after the initial response. Being a first responder, I'd, I'd, the, I'd, the next role would be to help volunteer in other ways. Um, so when you know, I just volunteer, started plugging in the volunteer reception center and coordinating volunteers, and so I really enjoyed that. Of all the volunteers from all 50 states, there was one story of generosity which overwhelmed Roberts. There was one gentleman in particular who came with his eight-year-old daughter, and they were from South Carolina, and the reason that I remember them, first of all, was the gentleman himself came by on several repeat trips, but his eight-year-old daughter had actually taken up a collection at her school and had brought that money with her, and she handed it to me, and she told me that she wanted us to use that to help our community. But it wasn't just other Americans lending a helping hand. The VRC helped coordinate an international response. There was this from all over, you know, China, India, Saudi Arabia, Japan, uh, Germany, just all over the place, um, just uh, 18 countries overall. Now, overall, the VRC helped register 41,504 volunteers during their two-year span. Now, the city is still encouraging volunteers. Just now, they will forward them to other nonprofit organizations. Reporting live in downtown Tuscaloosa, Travis Leader, WVUA News. Back to you guys.